Makes my tummy feels funny. Not me, I'm perfectly fine. I eat shit every day. <laughs> yeah. You like that? No. <laughs> mm. I got my special Facebook Ray-Bans here where I can record what's going on. Look at this dong here. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. There's children right next to us, so I'm gonna say, what's good, you sexy motherfucker? I don't give a fuck about kids. <laughs> fuck all of them. They have no futures. All they do is TikTok all day. Do the jerk. The jerk is actually, it's this. See? Uh, and this is the reject. There you go. <laughs> the more you know, kids, you TikTokers don't know nothing. They don't know shit. Jerk and you have good knees, reject. Man. Okay, anyways. Bow. We back for another episode of When Foodie Calls, Theme Park Edition. Let me tell you something. Now, listen, I don't like talking a lot of shit because I never do that. So that was a fucking lie. But the quality of their pass is amazing. <laughs> Hey man, look, that's Knott's Berry Farm, all right? This is where you go when you don't feel like going all the way to Disneyland or Universal. Knott's has always been right there, just a comfy little nugget of fun and food, you know? You know they say Universal's the shitty version of Disneyland. <laughs> Guess what Knott's Berry Farm is, huh? Lots of fun memories at Knott's, man. Lose your virginity here. Get a handy on a bench after winter formal. Ha, ah, good times. Anyways, so there's an event here called Knott's Merry Farm for the holidays. They got a bunch of fire food, and the mission is gonna. Chancho, I need, I need to borrow some sweats. The mission is to see how many. You're telling me you've never wrestled. So you've never wrestled. So you've never wrestled. <laughs> Elbow to the face. <laughs> I thought it in my head. He said it out loud. <laughs> Well, this is the first holiday themed theme park we've gone to. So what do we have here? We have um, Peppermint Moscow Mule. We have a Santa's Little Helper Champagne and Ginger Ale with pomegranate seeds and syrup. Ooh. And then we have a uh, Mary Berry Sparkler, Raspberry Vodka, Lime Juice and Ginger Ale. And then we have a Boysenberry Wheat Ale. I will try the mule first. I will try this thing. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh. Oh, aha. This is one of those creepers. Like David's uncle at the party. <laughs> Just a creeper. Hey, <laughs> you got some pussy for me? <laughs> <laughs> Why does your uncle sound like a Middle Eastern car salesman? <laughs> he does sound like that though. <laughs> hey, hey, jackass. Hey, buddy, buddy, you got some pussy for me, buddy? Oh. This is very good. It actually tastes like a punch. You are COVID free, correct? Oh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> Absolutely I, Cause I just got a, I got some uh, Omari on the other day. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 this is interesting. Yes. It tastes like mouthwash. <laughs> it's, I think it's the candy cane in there. It's a little, um, it's interesting. You know, I don't, hmm. Hmm, you know, I just, hmm. See, now you like it. Get another flavor. Okay. Boysenberry beer. Oh, there's something chewy in this one. Oh, it's my COVID. Ah, thick. Oh, mm. this is a very light beer. A little too sweet for me. Really? If you a bitch. <laughs> too sweet if you a... <laughs> That's a good beer. That's I don't even beer. know if there's alcohol on this one. It's just sugar in there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Let me tell you something. If you want to get a little crazy, so if you guys come here, right, two drinks per person. Have a bunch of friends who don't drink and get smashed. Perfect. Amazing. Interesting. They all taste like Capri Suns. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like a Capri Sun. It's too sweet. This one's too sweet. Oh, wow. If you are a bitch. Oh, actually, it's not bad. We're here at Calico Tater Bites because they got some turkey poutine tater bites. That's right, stupid ass Chia. You and your stupid poutine. She hey. loves poutine, dude. Yeah, well, yeah, she's Canadian, dog. Oh, excuse us. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh my God, Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> We're yeah. seeing so many celebrities yeah. today. This is crazy. You've had poutine before, yeah? Yes, I have, and I wasn't that thrilled about it. It's good but not the way that people talk about it. Oh, wow. Everybody just said, he's a hosiery. What does that mean? 
Okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> that, guy, that, that guy's a hoser, eh? Okay. Poutine, fries, gravy, cheese curds. It's fire. Um, it's a Canadian delicacy, A. Eh? Um, or if we want to go to Drake's area of Canada, you don't know. Big up to the rude boys and the men, them. That's uh, really good. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> This is their like comfort food, but at this place too, this is the uh, holiday season one, it's the turkey one. The cheese curds would be a little more melty, ideally, but you know, hey. And look, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I am off cheese. This man has been off cheese and on cheese for the last. <laughs> Whenever Semplus comes in, it gives him acne. I know, it's fucked up. Okay, cheese curd, turkey, tater tot. Well, th fuck, this is heavy as shit. This is like, this is like three pounds. The curds need to be melted. That's the thing. I was just gonna say it needs more gravy and it needs more like, cause e like everything in there is bomb, right? The turkey's good. The tater tots are good. The gravy's good. It just kind of needs, it needs a little, it needs a, it needs something. You can't just put cold curds on it. Yeah. Why? But the tater tots are really fire though. I love cold pizza, I love cold chicken, but I don't like cold curds. This guy likes cold fried chicken. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And if you want to hear us go into detail about that, check out our podcast, Dudes Behind the Foods. <laughs> it goes up every Monday on my YouTube channel. If there's, a, if there's a cheese that'll break me out, it's fucking cheese curds, bro. But I don't give a fuck. Ooh. Bad skin all day. No, 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 you've worked so hard. I know. <laughs> okay, this, this gets a little better. We also have this Rudolph Rubin pizza. Pastrami, pepperoncinis, cheese. Oh. Rudolph the Rubin Pizza Had a very spicy pepperoncini And if you ever saw him You would wanna suck his weenie This is kind of... No, it's not. They made it seem like it was cut, but it wasn't. Alright, what? Alright, 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 cool. Alright, 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 It's not tomato sauce on the bottom. It's like um, a creamy sauce. Tostino's pizza roll a little. It's like a creamy mayo or like a ranch sauce on the bottom. Interesting. On a Thousand Island. Yeah, interesting. It's really good. It's a Thousand Island from like a Reuben sandwich. The tongue of a master. <laughs> I just, I just, I really like Thousand Island dressing. I dip my fries into it. You get like the, the spicy tang from the pepperoncinis and the saltiness from the pastrami. Wow. And the dough's kind of like Tostino pizza rolls. And that's not a knock. I actually love Tostinos. That's that's really tasty. I'm gonna take one more bite. Wow. Uh-huh. Mmm. Wow, I'll tell you what. Today David Soul's eating spicy food. He's drinking all the drinks. Wow. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what you do is, you take your eye. <laughs> oh, wow, right in my eye. There's enough for actually two. This is for you and your delinquent wife. <laughs> <laughs> and for the baby, too. For the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Buongiorno. <laughs> So, I like to play this game where the, where the girl has to guess your weight because I have a very big head. So, 10, um, And I'm also like kind of stocky. Okay, so I got an interesting, fun? you know, it's okay, like you can't so tell. So they can never know how much I weigh, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna guess it right on me and okay. it's gonna hurt my feelings. What's the, what's like, what's your buffer like? So I have to be exact. Oh, you have to be exact? I have to be exact with all my guesses. Oh, well damn. I know, they give me no leeway. Okay, so, what do you do for fun? Uh, chill. Chill? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're stretching and everything. Yeah, I want you to, you know, take it in. Oh, thank you. So you can like, you know. Really, I'm, really I'm, get the idea? Yeah. Okay, what's another one of your hobbies? I go to the movies. Okay. What's the recent movie you watched? Spider-Man. How, how did you like it? Pop it was amazing, wasn't so it? So good. So good. Don't get offended. I'm not. <laughs> Just saying, you never know. I feel like I'm gonna be low key off. So I say you weigh 180. Okay. Go ahead and step on that scale for me. 
Oh no. This is off. I'm 145. <laughs> don't be lying. Don't lie. It's with lie. the clothes the and the shoes. Is on the scale, okay? Yes. Congratulations, you are the winner. Thank you. What do I where's my prizes? It's the gingerbread. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Of course, of course. As a quick disclaimer, it's the weight with the clothes on, alright? Don't judge me. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, cheater! No, 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 no! I'm not cheating. There's only fucking 30 pounds in here. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Like, you can throw it all the way off. So what do you do for fun besides like chilling? Eat. And everything? You do what? I eat. Okay, what's your favorite meal? It all changes, but right now I'm into like soup, into birria tacos right now. You're pretty tall. Huge dick too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like friendly part. That's why I'm always leaning forward. It's like, oh my god. You know what? I say two ten. Oh. How polite! Oh, really? Okay, well then that off. Hey, it's the third one. It's the dong, dude. I'm it's the dong. I'm, I'm telling you, man. You also got your gingerbread. You guys are twinning now. That's so cute. Thank you. Well, guys, Thank you. Guys. Have a good day. She didn't weigh my penis. <laughs> so I have my Facebook glasses on. And uh, right I now. finally was able to convince David to at least get on one ride oh. while we wait for this food. Um, this is a light ride, bro. Light ride. Look at this dong here. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my eyes closed this whole time. <laughs> you stupid son of a bitch. Whoa! I fucking hate this person. This was by far one of the worst fucking rides I've ever been on. Really? That shit. You are not a good man. You. Not. <laughs> <laughs> you you are a motherfucker. And you are not a good person. <laughs> yeah. He was. Uh, I told him at one point, I was like, take your mask off. He was like, <laughs> with my head shaking. <laughs> so filming today is kind of a struggle. I initially wanted to shoot on Tuesday, but then literally Tuesday was a rainy ass day, the only rainy day this week. So we're here on a fucking Saturday during the holiday season. All the lines for food and rides are super packed. So we're hungry. We're so sober. Ugh. Two hours later. My feet hurt. And let me tell you something, when I walked up there, they were making shit. It was just steamed and ready to go, pretending like it was something that it wasn't. <laughs> Look, that would have never happened at Disneyland. I'll tell you this, the service at Disneyland, impeccable. Yes. Everybody knows where everything is. People over here are not really like, hey, do you know where, do you know what the response is? There's a map. <laughs> I'll be like, do you know where the, I don't know, Corral Saloon is? They'll be like, Cor saloon? Is that what is? Is that a ride? So nope. this is Universal Studios. <laughs> like, actually, it's not, bro. And look, this would never happen at Universal either because the food's not that good. But <laughs> <laughs> it's partly my fault because we had to shoot this shit on a weekend. We usually never do weekends. Well, the weather's not your fault. The weather is not my fault. All right, so let's get it. First of all, okay, look, the Michelada's great. Let me tell you something. We already started digging into some of this stuff. I know you wanted to wait. Whatever, bro, right? Starving. Starving. You watched the Universal episode. We had some good shit there. I was just playing. Yeah, we're just making jokes. We're fucking hungry. This was their taco sweet potato. It was not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. And we got this elote hot dog, which looks great. And we got this. This is their seasonal um, bacon, mac and cheese, mistletoe hot dog, whatever they called it. Oh. <laughs> wow, that looks pretty dank. This looks super dank, dog. Um, cheers. Cheers. Got the elote, which is fire. It looks like they got everything you really need in an elote, too. Got the cotija cheese on there, got the corn. Pop it, I'm ready, I'm excited, I'm hungry. Oh my god. That's really good. It's a hot dog with mac and cheese and bacon. The elote dog's kind of nice. That's a solid wiener. That's a quality wiener. Well, let me try this nice cock. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I love the dog better than this. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong. 
So I was gonna go cook the yeah, little funky, mm -hmm. sweet from the corn. I'm gonna come up. Chicken and waffle taco with some like strawberry salsa. I'm not too sure about the strawberry salsa. It's kind of like it's the holidays, you know, when you got like cranberry sauce with your with your with your turkey. Tastes like a nice chicken with some 7-Eleven slushy on top. Pass! And my waffle just fell apart. Can't believe y'all had us waiting an hour for this bullshit. What the heck of it? I'm so hungry, I'm still eating. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michelada's good though. Can't believe that shit took so long. I know this might not have been the episode with the best food or the funniest, but I'm cold. I'm tired. <laughs> this has never happened before. <laughs> this is not bad. All right, three, four years, we haven't had a hiccup like this. <sighs> oh my God, I it's didn't know. It's free. So quit your bitching, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. We got some funnel cake here with some pistachio ice cream on top and some boysenberry jam. It looks great. This is a little neon, a little more neon than I expected. I don't know why they make pistachio ice cream this color sometimes. They don't have to. A little boysenberry jam and a little food nail cake, as the French say. What is funnel cake, David, so? It's just a deep fried batter. They have it kind of like in a um, little thing where it drizzles in, yeah. and then it all just becomes like this web of, of fried cake. Yum. Mmm. Mm, 96. 96 position is one of my favorite sex positions. That's, 96 is where you turn around and fart on the back of each other's heads. <laughs> I got that joke from Gilbert Godfrey. All right, guys, thanks for, thanks for watching another episode of When Foodie Calls. Uh, hey, look, they're not all winners, all right? Just like in life, shit happens sometimes, okay? <clears throat> he got the Rona, Omarion version. Uh, but it's okay. The funnel cake is delicious. Um, <laughs> not, not to get some more employees working with these busy days, please. Please, I beg of you. <laughs> and, two uh, hours. Yeah, it was it was it was crazy. Um, thank y'all for watching. I'm Tim Tamarazzi. I'm David So. Bye. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you, king shit.